I'm Deborah Wong. Jose Iniguez grew up in Mattawa, Washington. His father was a foreman at an apple orchard, and there he often heard workers singing traditional Mexican songs. Singing became his passion, although his immigrant father insisted on a more practical career path. But Jose followed his dreams. He's now a classical singer, and in his performances, he keeps Mexican musical traditions alive. This is a story about perseverance, about having the courage to follow your passion in spite of life's challenges. Let's try it again. Dig it from him. It's the story of singer Jose Iniguez and his journey from apple orchards to opera. We uh, grew up in a single trailer home in, in the orchard in Mattawa, Washington. I'm the seventh of 11 siblings. Growing up in a very poor family, I think propelled a lot of my older siblings to try harder, you know, to find a way out of this. For the Iniguez family, the way out was through education. The main push for education was our father and his dream was to have successful kids and educated kids. That dream came true when all 11 siblings received four-year college degrees and seven earned master's degrees. Music had always been in my life. Uh, you know, my dad had siblings that were in mariachis in Mexico, and so he exposed me to bolero, which is what I sing now, which is an older style. It's before the trumpet came into the mariachi, so it was all strings. Lo que me gusta, lo que quiero y que preciso, buscar en otra lo que tengo para que si no eres tú. We always encouraged him whenever we had family gatherings. Oh, Joe, why don't you sing? Uh, entertain us. When he was 13, Jose was flipping through the TV channels and came across an aria from Les Mis playing on public television. And it really just hit me. Uh, it told me that, you know what, this is possible. I can do this. Jose sang in high school, studied music in college, but got a business degree to please his father. Like many artists, he juggles a full-time job with managing his music career. His dream goal is to sing for an opera company, to make a living off singing. <laughs> After several years of studying with vocal coach Jerry Halsey, Jose felt ready to perform professionally. <laughs> Self-promotion is essential for artists and can be challenging, but for Jose, not so much. He simply applies his marketing skills and his determination to get the word out. What are your thoughts in regards to... Well, I already, I already have it on the, on the marketing plan of the date. I think uh, I have two distribution dates on there. And by combining his love of Italian arias with his love of Latin bolero, Jose has positioned himself as one of the few tenors in the country who crosses these two genres. He's found a niche. He's found a way to do it at this time in life, because that's what you have to have. 25 cash or 30 in a card. As a way to share his music and build his resume, Jose lends his talents to numerous charity events. Philanthropy is something that runs in his family. Bravo. Thank you very much. We started thinking about 
what are we going to leave as a legacy? And we saw the need of migrant folks getting into college. Jose and the entire Indigas family have been unbelievably supportive of scholarship for, for Latinos. Um, they have started a scholarship at Eastern Washington University, of which I represent, and then also Central Washington University. Education is the key, it really is, no matter where we come from, no matter who we are, and I'm a testament of that. Jose also gives back by visiting schools with large Latino student populations. He wants them to see that any profession, including classical music, is an option for them. It's been a long journey from picking fruit in the fields to performing for large appreciative audiences. He's happy to be doing what he loves and thankful for those who believed in him along the way. It, there is no way I would be, you know, now getting into my 30th concert without the support of my siblings. There's no way. And that's probably why I try really hard when I'm performing. As a boy, sometimes I would dream that I would perform in front of people. But I didn't think that it could be at Benaroy Hall. It made things clear for me that I belonged, that I can do this, that I can get a crowd, you know, and, and entertain a crowd of 600 people and love it, enjoy it, enjoy the experience. In Close on KCTS 9 is made possible in part by BECU. Hear more of Jose Iniguez's music by going to kcts9.org slash inclose.